Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another tutorial session on bioinformatics tools. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can use Anaconda to install RaxML in a Linux environment. Now, RaxML is a tool that is used to estimate maximum likelihood for allergenics from DNA and protein sequences. You can run it in different operating systems, but our focus today is on Linux. You will therefore need to have a Linux PC in order to follow this tutorial. You also need to have Anaconda installed in that Linux environment. I have a video that shows you how to install Anaconda in a Linux environment, and I'm going to leave that link in the description box. If you want to set up a Linux in a Windows PC, there's also a video for you. Link is in the description box. Now let's proceed. Now, when using Anaconda to install RaxML, there are two approaches you can use. The first one is to install RaxML in an existing environment. And the second approach is to create a new environment and install RaxML in it. We are going to try both approaches in this video. So let's continue. The first thing to do after installing Anaconda is to add your channels. This tutorial we are going to use Bioconda, so that is the channel we are going to add. Let me show you how it's done. We say Conda config add channels and we indicate the channel name which is Bioconda. We then execute it. We can confirm that this operation was successful using this command conda config show channels. This will list all available channels we have added, and this is the Bioconda channel. The default channel comes packaged with Anaconda, so we leave it as it is. We will now begin with the first approach where we install RaxML in an existing environment. We will therefore create that environment and install RaxML in it. So we create the environment. We say conda create that's n and we indicate the environment name. In this case phylogenetics. You can use any name that you find appropriate. We now execute it. We will then confirm by typing Y. The environment will then be created for us. It also gives the location where we can find it. Let's clear the screen first. We are then going to install Raxemo in the existing environment. That is the environment we've just created. And this is how we do it. Conda install and we indicate the environment's name. Philo genetics. And then we indicate the channel that C bio conda. And you indicate the software you want to install. This case, RaxML. Now, there are times where this can be omitted and the program will still run. So you can just experiment to see how it works out. But we are going to use this entire line for it. So let's execute it. We will also confirm this operation. We type Y. Then packages will be downloaded, including dependencies. So we wait for it to complete. Operation is now successful. And so we will have this prompt coming up. Let's clear the screen first. In order to run RaxML or test it, we need to first activate the environment. So let's do it. We say 
Conda activate Philo Genetics. Once it's activated, you'll find its name appearing on the command line as well. Now we can test Raxemo. But for this installation, Raxemo compiles the different file versions. So you are going to have the p threads, the MPI versions, and then the others. So we need to find out how they were named so that we can call the appropriate ones. We will therefore need to get a path where all those files were compiled to. So let's find it out. We will therefore display the environment we have and then the path will also show for us. So let's do it. We say conda env list. Then we wait for the path to show. We have follow genetics and there's a path. Now with this path, there's a bin, BIN directory that is created within this environment and that is where the tools will be installed to. So we are just going to do an LS to display the contents of it. So we say LS slash home slash student2 slash dot conda slash env slash phylogenetics. Please know that yours is likely to be different. So you make sure you put the appropriate one there. Okay, so we do the LS. You find this bin directory there. That's what we need. So we do another LS. And this time we add a bin to it. We execute and we have the various files there. This is what we need. Okay, so depending on what you want or how you want the analysis to be done, you choose or call the appropriate names. Let's focus on this one in this tutorial. So we are going to call it. So we say RaxMLHPC. Okay, so now it's done. Installation was successful, and that is why we have this statement here. Forget about this error message here. It's because we have not supplied any file or given any parameters. But it's fine because we are only testing a tool. So this is for the first approach. Now let's look at the second approach where we install, where we create the environment and install RaxML at the same time. But before we do that, let's deactivate this environment. We say conda deactivate. It has been done for us. So notice that we no longer have this name here. Let's start on a new screen. So the second approach where we are going to create the environment and install Raxemel at the same time. This is how we do it. We say conda creates dash n. Then we indicate the environment's name. Let's use follow genetics 2. To differentiate the previous environments. Once we have this, we specify the software we want to install. In this case, Rux ML. Of course, you can add a channel flag here. So let's just do that. We see that C Bioconda. We have it there. So you can now execute it. You will be asked for confirmation with type Y. 
and it has been done for us. Okay. Let's clear the screen first. From here is the same thing as what we did previously, where we activate the environment and run Raxemo. So let's quickly look at that. We say Conda activates. Philo Genetics 2. From here, we just issue Raxamel HPC. And we are done. So, this is how we install Raxamel using Anaconda. So, you can try any of them. In later videos, I'll be showing you how you can generate phylogenetic trees using Raxamel and other tools as well. So please practice with this one to set up your environment and be ready for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next session. Goodbye.